Hello and welcome to this edition of Tips and Tricks. Now today I'll be talking about hunting surface feeding bass. You know when they're up there bust them on the surface and shad or minnows or gizzards or whatever are just flying out of the water and the bass are just in a big school going crazy. Because there's one thing I see a lot of fishermen do that's a mistake. And that is to keep casting at them after the action has disappeared. I mean, you want to cast on them when the action's going. If you keep casting in the same direction and cast area after they've ceased the activity, you're going to do yourself no good. Those bass are waiting for whatever bait fish it is to ball back up. And if you keep casting through the area, you're going to keep them scattered. When they're scattered, they're not going to come back up and feed, so you're just wasting your time. What you need to do is hunt them. After the activity stops, you reel in, you stay in the ready position, and you wait. You wait until activity happens. Might take five minutes, might take 10 minutes, might take 50 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever. But you just stand there in ready position and wait. Because the only time you're gonna catch them is when they're up there actively thrashing through those bait fish. Now, as far as lures, I have two favorites for this. The Super Spook Junior and either the Rattle Trap or the Cordell Spot. Now, there's a reason I really love these two baits. One is you can cast them a country mile. And you, second, you can cast them accurately a country mile. Because those fish won't play by the rules. They won't just show up, you know, right next to the boat, 30, 40 feet away. Sometimes they might be 60 feet, 70 feet, 80 feet. So when you stand there waiting, you need something that you can cast very quickly, like a bullet, and very accurately. You need to hit them when they're active, work through it, catch a couple fish, and like I said, reel back in, become the hunter, sit and wait. That's the way I go about catching, actively feeding surface bass. I've done it for years, I love it, it's the greatest technique, I can't wait sometimes in the lake until they start busting them so I can sit around and do this. But you gotta be patient, and you gotta have something like a spook or rattle trap, but just something you can cast very accurately at a great distance and very quickly. Hunting surface feeding bass. I hope this helps. Until next time.